mighty gate rises from the old part of Istanbul. It is the entrance to a fascinating and astonishing world, the Serail of Topkapi. The former Osmanic center of power is similar to a small city, with numerous wonderfully decorated buildings and an idyllic park area. Even today, the gardens reflect a feeling of paradise, exactly as the sultans had ordained. A well-protected paradise with strong surrounding walls. The Topkapi Palace consists of a vast number of administrative buildings, a magnificent harem, and a residential area for the royal family. The incredible wealth of the Osmanic Sultans can be felt and seen almost everywhere. Precious calligraphy and beautifully furnished tiles decorate the facades and interior rooms of the palace. The buildings are situated around four rectangular courtyards of various dimensions. The third courtyard was the entrance to the harem, the living quarters of the women and concubines. The luxuriously furnished bathrooms of the legendary harem indicate the former wealth of the Topkapi Palace era. This harem complex alone to which only the Sultan's family were allowed access, contains 300 rooms. To make it difficult for eavesdroppers, some of the halls and rooms of the harem contain tiny fountains. Almost a thousand women lived in this spacious, maze-like harem of Topkapi. Nearly 800 eunuchs served as harem guards. Iron bars were meant to protect the Sultan from would-be assassins. Dating back to the 15th century, the palace buildings are surrounded by several parks that create a magnificent atmosphere. At first, the buildings were not used as the Sultan's residential quarters, as they were originally destined for the Diwan, an important government council. The Diwan was the highest seat of power in the Osmanic Empire. It met under the leadership of the Grand Vizier in a spectacular dome-shaped hall. Topkapi Palace contains several valuable art collections. Beautiful exhibits indicate the former power and wealth of the Sultan's family. Many of them are priceless treasures. The strategic location of this area had much military significance. Today, the fantastic panorama of the Bosporus, 
the Golden Horn and the Marmara Sea is truly remarkable. A collection of old literature contains masterpieces of both written and illustrated work. Several of the objects that are exhibited in the palace describe the regal lives of the sultans. These holy relics of the Prophet Muhammad were seized during a war against Egypt. They are one of Topkapi's major attractions and are stored in richly decorated caskets. This sacred room has been open to the public since 1962. Among the palace's several wells, the executioner's well is most noteworthy. After their bloody work, it's here that the executioners washed their hands and swords. The extensive area of the magnificent Topkapi Palace measures more than 70 hectares. In the past, numerous earthquakes and fires destroyed the palace. A number of these ruins can be seen today. Owing to these natural disasters, the palace was reconstructed several times resulting in a unique fusion of diverse art styles and periods. The ruins, as well as both the surviving and restored buildings, leave behind an extremely varied and fascinating impression of Osmanic culture. The Sultan's love of nature can be seen in the wonderful semi-terrace-like gardens in the various courtyards of the palace. For almost 400 years, the center of Osmanic power and influence lay behind these mighty walls and gates that are both decorative and a means of defense. The Topkapi Palace is a living museum. Its treasures attract visitors from all over the world. During the magic moments of sunset, Istanbul's former glory seems to come alive once again. <laughs>